Wow. That was uh, something else, wasn't it? What's going on, guys? Your boy Ooch. And uh, yeah, we're back in once again. But um, I'm not going to do all the crazy effects and all that for this video just because I wanted to get this quick thoughts review out there just to, you know, be a part of the conversation for once because I didn't really plan or have any time to actually do a reaction video. So I just wanted to, yeah, like I said, just talk about my thoughts on Chainsaw Man because, yes, that's obviously what this video is about. And it's been the talk of the town, probably one of the most hyped uh, series out there right now. And uh, out next to Bleach and, you know, anything else that's like on the uh, that's coming up pretty soon. I know My Hero just started up again recently, um, which I have to get check out, but. Um, either way, Chainsaw Man is an interesting one. I actually took the time to read some of the mangaka's other works to get a vibe of how he writes. And this dude is all about his tragedies, right? And I always wondered after finish, finishing reading some of these works that I'm referring to, which I, at, at the time of this, like, I don't remember what they're called, but they're on my any list. So I'll like make sure I like mention them at some point in this video or in the description or whatever. But he had like three works, right? That I read all of them um, on a plane ride, actually. Um, and I read them and I was like, wow, like I've never read stories like this where, you know, they're like very tragic. Um, and it's just a lot of like, bad things that take place right i'm not used to that i'm not i'm not saying i'm not used to bad things happening in in anime or manga to say but like the level of said tragedies that occur is what really had me like turning my head sideways when i was reading um his other stuff um overall though the stories were very good and they were they they drew me in um, and I know actually one of the stories that I read, because of, uh, uh, most of them were one shots, I believe the one that I didn't actually get around to reading was, I want to say, it was, no, it's not, it's not Black Torch, it's like Fireman or something like that, like something with fire in it. Um, but that was on Shonen Jump, and then it disappeared when I went to go try to read it, so that one I did not get to read, but his other works I did read because they were just one shots. And like I'm trying to say, I'm bringing all that up because obviously within Shonen Jump, um, majority I w of the stories I would like to imagine or a lot of maybe some of the audience that I've garnered here on this channel, you guys are used to like the typical Shonen fighting types of things, right? Where it's, you know, action and good story, good characters and all that kind of stuff. But there's like certain tropes that are met. And kind of certain things you expect out of Shonen, like, you know, drag from Dragon Ball to Bleach to My Hero to, you know, One Piece to, you know, anything you can imagine, like Black Clover, My Hero, like they all have very similar tropes and nuances, all that kind of thing. And I was wondering, how is this going to work for Chainsaw Man, especially off of how the mangaka himself likes to write his stories? I'm like, I don't know if he would be able to really kind of mesh his style with what would make a really good shonen and i can see how it's work how it's going to work um i i actually do and not going to lie i was i was trying to see how the story would kind of play out on you know my own because again i haven't read any of the manga right but let me make you a deal so basically it's, that's like a uh, little nod to the show because they're all about their deals um, in episode one. And uh, I'm going to not read the manga until this season is finished. And then I will because this is really good. This is very good. It's very interesting. Um, he, he He's able to figure out how to incorporate all these said tragedies into this story that makes for a pretty good shonen. And I was wondering like what this could even be about because obviously the cover of Chainsaw Man kind of gives it away like main character has some sort of chainsaw-esque powers to him. How does he get those powers? Those are explained in the episode and I guess um, I don't really know if I'm going to spoil too much but I mean you kind of have to explain one thing that happens as to why he does get those powers but 
I guess what I will say to kind of just alleviate that um, is he is, uh, there's something divisive that's a part of the story setting up that I kind of figured, I was like, you know, maybe it's because of this is how he gets it, but how he gets it was different, and I wasn't expecting that. So, um, I yeah, either way, I mean, the animation was beautiful. Um, a lot of the CG stuff was, like, pretty all right. Um, so at certain, certain, like, scenes didn't really feel like they were, uh, how do you say, I don't want to say that, like, it kind of felt like they were a little, they're not, they weren't as smooth as like the other types of scenes. Like when they brought in the CGI, like when the, like the big fight scene happens, like towards the end of the episode. Um, and I, like I said, I didn't, I didn't really understand like where this could go or what exactly, how this could set up or what kind of show it was going to be. Like I figured it was going to be action involved and like, you know, there's going to be blood obviously. Cause you know, how are you going to have a, a, a show called chainsaw man there's not gonna be any kind of blood but there's a lot of freaking blood in this one which i was also surprised about because again you know shonen i don't this is not berserk or anything like that but like the levels of blood and all that i was like mm, they're kind of pushing the boundaries here a little bit which i was kind of i was i was definitely okay with um and i was really i, I was really uh enjoying um the gruesomeness that that it had but other than that it this is like another one of those like devil hunter kind of shows which i feel like a, there's a lot of those as it is i feel like nowadays but i want to say this one really stands out in comparison to any of these other relatable i will say that kind of shows so uh, it definitely has my interest i'm really looking forward to episode two i'm glad i actually took the time to watch it i actually had to freaking skip the gym today just to get this out but um, if this is something that you guys are interested in, uh, you know, hearing my thoughts on at least, I don't know about if I have time for reactions, um, do let me know in the comments below. Um, I am looking forward to seeing where this is going. Um, I don't even know how many episodes this is going to be this season. Either way, I'm sticking with it. So let me know, let me know you guys thoughts in the comments and, um, make sure you guys are liking and subscri uh, subscribing and sharing and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>